Hi, my name is Dr. Zane Basrawala with Urology Specialists of the Carolinas. Kidney stones are very common in the United States. Approximately 10% of people will have a kidney stone in the course of their lifetime. Men are actually two to three percent, two to three times more likely than women to get kidney stones. But women are increasing the, the gender gap significantly. Uh, this is probably likely from dietary changes and also from climate changes. Uh, the southeast is actually one of the most common places for kidney stones to form. And that's mainly because of the temperature differences and also is commonly known as the stone belt. Kidney stones are actually uh, typically cause a, a great deal of flank pain and can cause blood in the urine. Uh, it comes on suddenly and is incredibly intense, often sending people directly to the emergency room. Uh, interestingly, some kidney stones can actually be silent and can only be detected by x-ray. And Sometimes those are the most dangerous kidney stones because you don't realize the kidney could be actually undergoing some severe damage. The kidney stone typically causes pain because it blocks the outflow of urine from the kidney all the way to the bladder. And this can cause a stretch in the kidney, causing a lot of pain. So most kidney stones will actually pass without, without doing anything, just drinking water, and taking a medicine can get most stones to pass right into the bladder, which will then pass without a vent. If that doesn't work, then we're left with other options. To consider which options are best, we have to determine where, where the stone is and how big the stone is. Uh, another option we oftentimes consider, which is fantastic and easy to undergo, is called ESWL, which is where a shock wave is sent uh, from outside of the body onto the kidney stone, where the kidney stone breaks into very small pieces and passes without a vent. If that doesn't work, or if the stone's in a particular location, then sometimes taking a small telescope through the bladder and directly onto the stone and putting a laser directly onto the stone is how it is best treated. And at that time, we can actually basket the fragments, remove the fragments, and send them for analysis. If those don't work, then we move on to bigger procedures. One of the biggest procedures we'll do for kidney stones is where we make a, an incision in the back and go directly into the kidney. Oftentimes, these larger stones can be taken out directly through this small incision. And although the recovery is difficult, uh, it sometimes is the most efficacious way to remove all the kidney stones. In rare circumstances, sometimes we have to make an open incision or an old-fashioned incision to remove very, very large kidney stones. That's almost never done anymore. If you have questions about kidney stones and how to avoid them, we have answers for you. Please check our website under Patient Education for more information.